Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In today's video, I'm going to show you an investment calculation that is super simple and it helps you gauge your investment realistically with a realistic time frame and it makes you look and feel smart most importantly. So this isn't a 3 a.m. Uh, real estate infomercial on how to get free real estate. This is an actual equation and it's gonna make you look and feel smart, I guarantee it. So to use this calculation, let me show you three potential investments. You have investment one, you have investment two, you have investment three. So these are all guaranteed annual rates of return. Let's just pretend that we have a crystal ball. We know the guaranteed rate of return on all these investments. So the first investment is giving you 4%, the second investment is giving you 6%, and the third investment is making you 9% annually, okay? So common sense would tell us, obviously, we all wanna invest in the 9% uh, investment. However, how much better is this investment really in terms of like a time frame, for example? So what would be a good way to gauge, the? say you don't have an Excel spreadsheet, say you don't have a financial calculator, say you don't have anything in front of you, it's just you and your friends, you're talking about investments, and it's just your brain, okay? How much better is this 9% really than the second investment and the first investment? A fair question to ask would be, okay, how long would it take to double my money if I were to put in my money in all three of these investments? So I'll actually tell you right now. So obviously nine is the best, but here's a uh, chronological time frame. So at 4%, and these are real numbers, these are not hypothetical numbers, it would take you 18 years to double your investment if it was um, compounded annually, okay? Six years, excuse me, 6% is 12 years, 9% is eight years. So now you actually have a visualization of how much better this 9% rate of return really is compared to the six and the four. It's obviously four years quicker than the 6% and it's 10 years quicker than the 4%. So this gives you a real life perspective at which investment is really best. Now, here's a quick example to actually show you how powerful 1% of return is. So let's get rid of those two bottom investments. I'll introduce a new one. You're getting 3% annual return. How many more years does it take compared to 4% to 3% to double your money? 24 years total, six years more than the 4%. Can you believe that? So this is only 1% less rate of return but it's 6% longer to double your money, excuse me, six years longer to double your money, okay? So I want you to start thinking in terms of like time, okay? Because we all have a finite amount of time. What, how much older are you gonna be six years from now? And how much different is your life gonna be six years from now? Are you gonna be in retirement? Are you saving for a kid's college? Um, are you investing for a goal? You know, you wanna buy a boat or a vacation property or whatever. Six years is a long amount of time in my opinion. So this whole, this whole rule, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, is called the rule of 72, and I'll show you exactly how the calculations work. Uh, if you find interest in this video, give it a thumbs up because there's gonna be a ton of value starting right now. So those numbers that I just showed you of the 4%, 6%, 9%, and how they doubled your money over those certain time periods, how did I figure that out so simply and easily? Well, I actually have an outline of the video that I'm recording, so that's how I knew. <laughs> but actually, um, it's called the rule of 72, okay? So this is obviously what the video is about. So the rule of 72 is a very simple rule. It actually applies to more things than just investing, and I'll show you that later in this video. Uh, it's essentially taking the time period of taking the number of 72, dividing it by the rate of growth. Okay, so in the previous example, we had the rate of growth of 4%, the rate of growth of 6%, the rate of growth of 9%, okay? So this is what we're doing here. When you take 72 in the numerator divided by rate of growth in the denominator, you're getting the number of periods that investment takes to double, okay? So pretty simple here. Now, let me give you another example, and I'm gonna have you participate in the one after this. I'm gonna do this one just to show you the 72, and then I'll ask you a simple question to see if you're understanding it. So at 
how many years would it take for 12% to double? And you can't actually use percent, that'll mess this up. Um, when I say percent, that's actually just the number 12. 72 divided by 12, very simple. This investment would take six years to double. So now I'm gonna give you a real one and I want you to comment below in the comment section the answer to this question, okay? So if you need to pause the video, it's very simple. I wanna see how many people actually get this right, okay? So let's go, um, let's take this number. 72, the investment is growing at 8% per year annually. How many years will it take for this investment to double? This is very simple math, but I'll give you a few seconds here. <laughs> I'll never do that again in the history of this channel. All right, very simple. 72 divided by eight equals nine years. Okay, very good. You're now ready to hit Wall Street. So there's another layer to this video, and this is where the video gets good. You can apply this and go a little bit deeper than, um, than using it just when you have the actual annual rate of return. You can do this in reverse. So say, for example, I pose the question to you, at what rate would something have to grow in order to double um, during a fixed period? So let's use my YouTube channel, for example. What rate of growth would it take for my YouTube channel uh, to double in 18 months. So number of subscribers to double in 18 months. So we already figured this out. Take 72, what was the question? 18 months, right? Divided by 18, we're trying to solve for X for the doubling. Very simple. My channel would have to grow at a rate of 4% per month in order to double in the number of subscribers. Why is that? The question was 18 months, 4% per month. These always have to be the same time period, otherwise you're not comparing apples to apples. So it makes sense? How, do, uh, how long does it take for my channel to double in 18 months? It would have to grow at 4% per month over 18 months to double. Pretty simple, right? Now, let's take a more realistic uh, scenario because not everyone has a YouTube channel unless you signed up for the waiting list uh, from my last email to start your own channel. Uh, let's say you have a newborn at home, okay? So you wanna save for college. Say you have 10 grand and you have a newborn. So I'll draw a stork. So here's its beak, here's the little bag it's carrying. Here's the eye, the little wing. Okay, beautiful stork with the baby inside, right? Is this Amazon Prime stork? <laughs> Did the baby come in two days? <laughs> and the baby, and the stork came with 10 grand. This is a government stork, so the more babies you have, <laughs> the more money it'll give you. <laughs> Tasteless joke, but I don't care. So anyway, let's say uh, you got 10 grand. This is day one. Baby is just born, and you want it to grow over 18 years because that's when the baby goes to college. The baby's no longer a baby, it is an adult, okay? Um, the question would be, at what rate of return would this 10 grand have to double over 18 years? So let's go back to the basics. 72 divided by 18 years, we just solve for this. What's the answer? You already know, we just solve for this. It's 4%. 4% per year in order for this 10 grand to become 20 grand uh, to get ready to fund the baby's college. But little do these parents know that in 18 years, college is going to be $20,000 per week <laughs> and, and they're not gonna send their kids to college. <laughs> okay, so now let's play with the numbers a little bit here. Say the parents have an investment, because so, I wanna show you the number of periods it takes to double. Say this 4% becomes 8%. They found a brand new investment in day one, it becomes 8%. Obviously, they're gonna double their money in nine years, okay? So in nine years, it's gonna be 20 grand. And over the next nine years, because we already know, we doubled the 4% to 8%, they're gonna make another 20 grand for a total of 40 grand over 18 years. Make sense? The 4% is doubled, becomes 8%, 10 grand becomes 20 in nine years, not 18. 20 grand becomes um, 40 in, in the another nine years, right there, boom. So, very cool. Rule of 72 is practical, it works, um, it's very simple, 
And it's great because so many numbers divide evenly into it. So you don't have to get into these weird decimals. So obviously two goes into it, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, twelve. It's just an easy number to work with, okay? So I hope you all got value <laughs> out of this video right here with the stork and the Amazon Prime stork and the government stork too. Um, please give the video a, a thumbs up if you got value out of it. If you've never heard of the rule of 72, please share the video with a friend or on social media. It really helps me when you do that. And as always, everybody, have a prosperous day.